Welcome to Grantham University's Capstone course. This slide presentation will help you navigate the business plan requirements. The course is designed as an independent study, where in most weeks you will not be directed to complete a certain section for grading. Rather, you are responsible for managing your work so that you have enough new material to submit for grading each week while completing the changes your instructor has offered. The project eliminations or boundaries of the work include the required length of the project is 20 typed pages, excluding the front and reference pages and, of course, appendices, tables and charts within the document, and bulleted lists. I think perhaps the hardest element of developing this capstone project is to understand the intended voice and tone of your work. The goal is for you to develop a professional document and take a stake in your company as perhaps a business owner or manager trying to get financing or as an entrepreneur trying to establish a new company. So unless you're writing the industry or competitive analysis where you would reach out to the internet and find statistical data, most of your information will be coming from your company's specific point of view. For this project, Students will adapt a formal or professional approach by eliminating some pronouns, jargon, and a casual style of writing. All paragraphs must be at least four well-developed sentences. Short sentences sometimes present choppy work. Yet writing exclusively in long involved sentences could result in difficult, sometimes incomprehensible material. Varied sentence length helps readers maintain interest. When involved concepts do require long sentences, each sentence cannot exceed 40 words. Your business plan should be written in first person, such as I, me, our, and we. To avoid ambiguity, you should exclude other pronouns from your writing, such as their, them, they, that, and those, and the unclear antecedent, this. Do not begin sentences with it, but, or because, and do not use words that are not important to your work, such as as well as, or in order to. Writing clearly and concisely is very important in this style of writing. Do not end sentences in pronouns, prepositions, conjunctions, or verbs. Although the abstract is placed first in your business plan, you will complete this project once your work is almost complete. The abstract is written in past tense because the section is normally completed at the end of a project. You will submit this section in week 7. This summary should be the first section of your submission after the cover sheet and before your table of contents. This summary should provide a short description of the business concept and highlight your breakthrough idea by describing the unique aspects of your product or service. A wow statement could simply be a sentence indicating why the project is important to the business industry as a whole. The wow statement is a one-line attention-grabbing statement. Please take a few minutes and read the company description example provided here. Do you notice how the student described his company, Nyklo Electronics? He provided information as to his unique product offerings, discussed that he is a sole proprietor, and provided an engaging statement to attract and retain his customers. The first sentence of your mission statement should be set in italics. Your mission statement is directed to your customer to underscore the purpose of your organization. Your mission should represent what the strategy or underlying business model is trying to accomplish. Consider what are you moving to? What is your dream? What kind of difference do you want to make to the world? Or what do you want to be known for? Next, we will look at some goals and objectives. You should describe between five and eight expected outcomes or alternatives for your business. Remember, goals and objectives must be measurable, and you should include a table or a figure to illustrate the metrics. 
whereas the mission statement lays out an organization's purpose and core values. Operating objectives direct activities towards key performance areas. Typical operating objectives for a business include profitability, operating within a net profit, sustainability, helping to preserve, not exploit the environment, and social responsibility, acting as a good community citizen. In this example, you will see the author presented a narrative describing his objectives and outlined five measurable goals such as obtain a 90% customer satisfaction rating, sell at least one product every month, and add two new products to the portfolio by the end of the fifth year. Now let's review a stakeholder analysis component. You should develop a stakeholder analysis for at least five key central stakeholders in your company. In this example, John Callahan is the director of Nikolo Electronics. This section is presented as a mini resume. You can describe attributes such as personal experience, education, and training in the given field or industry. Ask your instructor about how to complete the products or services section of your business plan. Develop the industry analysis by providing a brief overview and long-term outlook for growth. Review industry size, trends, and target market segments. You should identify who leads the industry in terms of price, quality, and market share. In your competitive analysis, discuss the strengths and weaknesses of each primary competitor. Consider sales, quality, distribution, price, production capabilities, reputation, and product and services. Outline how your product or service measures in the area of pricing and identify your competitive advantage. Prepare a first year and a three year sales forecast in dollars and units. Briefly outline your sales and advertising plans. You should present information to show your plan is well researched and includes reasonable assumptions. In addition, the work should illustrate that the proposed company is not entering a declining industry or market segment. The marketing strategy should address how you will differentiate your company from the competitors. Frame your marketing plan to show potential investors exactly what factors will make your product or service more desirable than those offered by the competition. The marketing plan should include an analysis of the business opportunity, Target market inclusive of potential customers and their location. Location of your business. Economic, demographic, and geographic factors which may influence the success of the proposed venture. Incorporate a SWOT analysis in your business plan. You should have a section for strengths, for weaknesses, for opportunities, and for threats. When, when developing, developing your financial, financial plan, present an in-depth narrative to demonstrate the viability of your business and to justify the need for funding. In this section, describe financial estimates and rationale which include financial statements and forms that document your proposed business and its soundness as an investment. Introduce tables and charts in the narrative, such as Figure 1 illustrates or Table 1 shows, and include large charts and tables in your appendices. Describe the form of business, whether you are a sole proprietor, LLC, or corporation. Prepare a three-year projection of income, expenses, and sources of funds. Base predictions on industry and historical trends. Make realistic assumptions and allow for funding changes at different stages of your company's growth. Present a written rationale for your projections and indicate your startup costs. Detail how your startup funds will be used to advance your proposed business and list current capital and any other sources of funding you may have. Document your calculations and use reasonable estimates or actual data where possible. Create a cash flow statement too. 
ask your instructor for suggestions on preparing the final remarks for your business plan. Consult the APA Style Guide for the guidelines on preparing your references. Appendices include tables and figures that are too large to be placed within the text of your business plan. Each table or figure will be its own appendix, so if you have five tables or figures, you'll have Appendix A, Appendix B, Appendix C, Appendix D, and Appendix E.